How you going? Kevin from Lyle Eels. Today we're doing a bit of a fish. We're going to have a fish out here at beautiful Tallaroot. Uh, it's been fishing pretty well lately. But what we've done today is we've gone along the wall at work. And we've just picked up a few items which we're going to try today, which is the soft plastics that we've got. A little bit of scent, which works really well. And also we've got our beetle spins that we've been using of late, which have been going really well as well. So, a few, few products from the shelf. You got your jackal, you got your proficient lures, more soft plastics, got the grub one, and also too, we're going out for redfin, might be lucky enough to get a trout, but mainly reddies. We only need a tackle box with hooks and sinkers, we don't need to take five or six bags. So, a few hooks and sinkers from the shelf, a few lures, and also too, a few yabby nets. Easy to set up, these are the new ones out, just hook them in like that, put your float on, bait in the bottom. We'll see how we go with a couple of yabbies as well, so we'll set them up. All right, now let's have a go at the fish today with just a few products we got off the wall, nothing else. A couple of rods that we've got in the shop, all ready to go. As you can see, got the tags on. We've got the Shimano FX. We've got the Rapala rod. We're just going to fish with a couple of rods that we sit there that we've got in the shop, so look forward to see how we go today. net number one so we're in about seven meters here so we'll just all you do is make sure you land them so, flat put your line out always make sure that you got your name and address on your float when you have them nice and flat there we go Good thing about good thing about these nets because you can let them sit for an hour, an hour and a half, not like the flat nets. So you can go and do a bit of fishing now and um, come back in an hour or so and check them. See how we go. Righty oh, got our first rod rigged up. It's our Shimano FX. It's got about eight pound line on it. it comes with spooled with line. We're going to chuck a bait on this one. We're going to have one with a bait, and one with a soft plastic. So this is how I rig mine up. Got a number four hook. Little sinker, just run under the, the hook, right? Nice and light. Don't need no, no um, swivel. We're gonna, we're gonna stick, we're gonna stick a little yabby on, right? I always like to get them right down below in the tail, like that, because as you know, the fish take them tail first, so you want to make sure that it's right down. Right, oh, and we're gonna put this one out. Just let him sit out there while we rig up our other rod. Right, he'll just sit there like that, stick it in our rod holder. I leave the reels open if it's not real windy, because then they can just run and um, swallow the hook. So rod number two, we're going to use the soft plastic. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw it around the boat so we can find a few fish. They're easy to use. A lot of people get a bit confused on soft plastics. So just stick, put your jig head on, tie them on, like so. Right. Put him in there, a little bit of saliva, right, nice and tight. Right, jig head, so, that, so now the, the soft plastic we're using, we're using the bite scent, it's a green grub, right? Now we all know that what, when readies are really going, they'll virtually take anything, but it's always nice to get them going first up. So easy to put on, so you roughly know it's going to come out near the end of the tail, so you stick your, stick your grub on, just bend it around the hook, Bring it out, push it straight up, and there you are, nice and straight. They love that little action there, and that's your little grub. We'll just throw that out around the boat, just jerking him up and down. So as you can see, we threw that yabby out and the line's starting to go out, so we've got a fish on the end of it. Usually like to let them run that little bit just so they can get it down and swallow. So hasn't been in there long, it's only been in there a couple of minutes. 
wind up your line lift oh he's had us on a snag but we've got him it's only a small fish only a small fish but goes to show that there's a few fish around he's just on a little yabby look at that bang just like that right and all i brought out is a little tackle box a few hooks and sinkers and a few lures and that's all you need to bring out nice little ready just like that change of plastic went over to the, the grub look at that beautiful good tail see how long this takes one on the plastic straight away just casted that one in only a small fish ah, nice little ready in good nick too beautiful Now don't forget we only just threw that yabby in and as you can see it's starting to move out a little bit a little line going off there just then i dare say we've got one on there so i've only been in only just threw it in two or three minutes let him take a little bit of line and then just yeah into them just like that there you go A little yet, yeah, little ready, a little size. All right, Gabby's still all right. Might just move him across a little bit more, just to make that a little bit easier. Sit him out there. Oh, there we go again. Another one on the Abbey. Alright, this is on the Shimano FX rod. All comes in fully spooled with some line. It's doing a good job. They handle pretty well those little rods. Yep, it looks like he's been swimming towards us. He's not a bad little fish either. As you can see, see the nice little action on these rods. Nice little, little fish. Not a bad little ready. Yeah, it's a good fish. Like I said, just running the sinker, just straight to the hook. That's all you do. Get a couple for feed. <laughs> Another good day on the water. Only been in there about two minutes. Take a little bit of line. All right, wind up your bit of slack and then. Oh. Oh. Another fish. Just goes to show it's. When they're around, they're not too bad. It's not a bad little fish. Once again on the Yabby. If you're not too bad at filling and fish, you get a fair bit of fair good feed out of these fish. I reckon you can nearly count the 60 seconds and it'll probably have a fish on it. Like I said, just leaving the line loose, just let them run. These rods are handling them pretty well. Right.
But yeah, he's off. <laughs> Would have been 60 seconds, wouldn't it? Oh right, hey. Just threw that yabby out. <coughs> bit bigger yabby this one, so I let him take a little bit of line. Got a little fish. So, got the new tonic sunglasses I got from, from Lyle Eels. Beautiful. Oh, sun's gone again. Jeez, oh, look at the fish down there. Jeez, they work good, these things. Try them. Good glasses. Get them at Lyle Eels. Yabby again. Whoa! So we've done all right. We've got a couple of fish on the plastic. And now we're just going to go to the jackal vibe. We're going to try the jackal vibe. And all you do with these is throw them out and just slowly up and down off the bottom. We'll give them a crack now. All right, so we've got the jackal vibe. Just imitation of a little bait fish. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to drop him straight down. We're only fishing in about 2.5 metres of water. I'll just drop him straight down. All I'm going to do is once it's on the bottom, I'm just going to jerk him up like that. Just nice and easy. As you can see with this... Rapala rod, it's got that nice little bend as you bring it up, nice little flick, just keep moving along the boat. You know, if they're down there, and then sometimes when you stop, they'll hit it. There's a hit there, there he is, oh, missed him. Easy as that, see if he comes back. There he is, just like that, there we go, that's just bouncing you, jackal vibe, look at that, straight over the side, so they just got to move. Drop him down. Another one of the products that we have at Lyle Eels is your gulp gel. All right, your Berkeley. So all we do with this, get a little bit. I like I usually stick it on my finger and just rub it over your, your lure, your soft plastic. You can even put it on your yabby if you like, just like that. Lasts for a fair few casts. And um yeah, it works really well. It's um just gives that little bit of scent on your lure as they're chasing it. Had a couple hits on it, but he didn't grab it. Just like that. It's a bit better fish. We put that. We just put that scent on. Not a bad ready. So yeah, so it um does work as a bit of an att attraction on the fish, and the scent just stays on the lure. You get nice readies like that every day. How's that? <laughs> yeah, he's good.
Just moving it. Keeping it bouncing on the bottom. You stop. Let it sit for a bit. Up. Oh, dropped him. He was there. There he is. Come back. But yeah, so just keep them moving. Just one of the different colours we got in the in the jackal vibe range. So you know, like a little imitation. It's like, like I like the stripes, like a little red fin or a little bait fish. Yeah, they work really well. Jackal, they catch them. Right, eh? So another product that we've got in the shop, these Bassman beetle spins, they call them. Little beetle spin. They all got a few different names, but these beetle spins are good. So I got the, they come in the silver or the bronze. So the way to use them is, as you can see, they're shaped similar like a spinner bait. So once you do, you should, once you put put them on, you put them on by themselves. All right, just tie them on like you're tying on a hook. Right, let's lie, but fix that knot. Right, so that's it. That's all it looks like. And then all you do is you undo this little clip here. I'm going to put a soft plastic on it. So use me soft plastic. Right, so it's just going to go on there like so. Just run him on, over that little bit of wire. Follow him around. Put him on. Clip him back on. And there's your rig. So as you can see, it's going to go along the bottom or wherever and just that's going to spin like a spinner bait. Right? So this is our third product off the shelf today. Right? I'll give him a flick out. And I like to let I like to use them in a shallowish sort of water. Um, they do work in the deepish, but I like them in the shallow and I'm just going to let that hit the bottom. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the rod and that little blade's going to spin. And as you can see, just had a little hit then. Right, just move him slowly. Right, let him go down again. Stop him. And I can feel that blade moving again all the way. As you can see, just moves like a little spinner bait. See it there? That's how they work. Look at that for an attraction to a fish. Right, eh? We did have a hit. I'll give another one. Let's get it out there again. Here we go. Not a bad fish on the beetle spin. A good fish. Look at that. So as you can see, that a bit of attractions. All you do is just unhook your lure. And there's your beetle spin. It's got me in a bit of a knot, but yeah. Work a treat. Nice fish. Good redfin. Alright, so we've got them on the plastics. We've got them on the yabbies. Show you how to do the hook and sinker. We've got them on the vibes. We've got them on the beetle spins. Now, another thing we have in store is worms. Janjuck worms. Everyone's heard of Janjuck worms. Good worms. You've got packs of 20, you've got packs of 50, you've got packs of 100. And they're a good size worm, as you can see. Alright, I like to just go once twice three times i'm only going to put one on all right and just see how we go with just one worm some people put two or three on but the fish are hungry they'll take it all right same rig sink it run to the hook all right just throw him throw him out splash here we go all right let's see how the old janjuck goes janjuck worms 
You want worms? Here he goes already. Look at that. Little bite on a worm. All right, that didn't take long. There we go. Can jump worms. It's in there two minutes, if that. And I even get to use it again. Look at that. I like to lay a little bit of slack. Sometimes if you're just sitting there, just move it a little bit. Doesn't hurt. There we go. Now you move it a bit. One there. There we go. Two fish on one jam jack. Not a bad little ready. Look at that. Might even get to use him again. Look at that. That's three on that Dan Duck. If you have a look at that, that's three fish on that one worm. Let's try that one again. Might get a fourth. There we go. Now these rods are handled well. Work really well. Look at that. Whoop. One. One yabby. They work. They're good nets. They can't get out. Another one of our popular products, Lyle Eels, is an old stump jumper. This is the number three, the smaller size one. I'm going to use a red fin pattern one because the reddies are going pretty well at the moment. So this one's got a little bit of green on the back, the stripe. So there's a great range of stump jumpers that we've got in shop. But we're just going to trawl this one and just see how we go for a little bit of a trawl. See how we go. All right, as you can see, the tip of the rod. You know your lure's working. Keep trolling around here, find them. Put a little bit of line out. I like to make sure the little jack hits the bottom and then wind it up. I know I'm just Stumpy. 
There we go. Look at that. The old stumpies. Been around for a long time. I never let you down. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, eh? Another lure that we've got in stock is the Jelly Vibe 67. That's her there. Looks like a little little gudgeon, little um, white bait. Good looking lure. Only got the one lot of hooks up the front. Same deal. Throw them out and just bring them in slowly. Another product that we've got on the wall. We'll give that a crack and see how that one goes. What we'll do, we'll just throw them out here. As you can see, they've got a little bit of weight and they cast all right. On the FX Shimano rod and reel, fully loaded with line. Right, just slowly bouncing them up and down. As you're bringing them in along the bottom, that's all you got to do. All they do is they just look like a little wounded fish moving on the bottom. That's all you do. Just keep casting them around till you find the fish. You can't resist them. There you go. You can see it's on that little jelly vibe. Yep. Does the job. That's it. Nice little fish. See? Look at that. Nearly eat that yourself. So it's not about just throwing big lures and, you know, redfin are pretty easy to catch once you get the hang of it. Once you find them, they virtually take anything. Just move and the bait round slowly. Another one on there. Whoop. Got off. Yeah. So there you go, old jelly vibe. This has been pretty hectic today. A bit of a bloody sweat up. Just got this one off the shelf the other day. The old Shimano hat covers all around. Ears, beautiful. <laughs> Cooled down already. Marvellous. Great hats. Get them at Lyle Eels. Hard work on these reddies. Always cover up. Hey, right. Bush Ranger. Marble spinner. Similar to the old Dixon. Red and yellow Dixons we all used to use. These things are a good little spinner. Same way, put them on. You don't have to wind them fast. The yellow one, the yellow one and the red. The yellow seems to be really a lot bit better on trout as well. Uh, the reddies do like them both but the yellow ones seem to work really well on the red fin so we'll um we'll give this one a crack and just see how we go with the the marble spinner there she is look at that beautiful I like to let them sink a bit. Just throw them out and oh, dropped him straight away.
There we go. It's lure number six off the shelf this morning. An old marble spinner. The old reddies. Beautiful. Give it another crack. Just a slow wind. There we go. Not a bad little fish. A little ready. Here we go. The old marble spinner. Let some go. Not bad fish. Oh, I dropped him. He wasn't bad fish. Hello, lure number seven. Straight off the shelf. We've got the Strike Pro Ice Jig. So the ice jig drop them to the bottom, just lift up, move them around the boat. You can cast them, but at the start, just move them around the boat up and down, see how we go. So that's the old humble ice jig. It's got a hook up each end and one in the middle. So um, we'll see how they go. Strike Pro. All right, I'll drop it down. Oh, hit the bottom, and just move him up and down. Touch then. Whoop. There we go. Got him in the front hook. Like I said, he's got three options. Front, back. There she is. The old ice jig, Strike Pro. How's that? Better fish that one. Yeah. Right, as you can see, plenty of lures today. We've we've tried six or seven lures. We just got off the shelf last night, and um, so far each one's produced fish. Lucky last, the proficient. Great little lure. Great range of colours. A bit of weight in the front, keeps the nose down, throwing them out and just bringing them in the same way along the bottom. Let's we'll give them a crack, and you can also just bob them up and down straight down from the boat. Right, oh, let's see how we go. Lure number eight. Get it out there. See how they move just like a fish? Look at that. Good on your yellow belly. Cast well.
There we go. Little bit a little ready. You can hear that that little rattle, got little bell ball bearings in them. Gives that little bit of a traction again. Yeah. Great little lure. All different colours. Like I said, just move them slowly around the bottom and just work them. Don't throw them out and just wind them fast. Got to be bouncing along the bottom. Right, now we're going to try the Storm Ultra Blade. They're a little blade lure. Hooks at the front and the back. Same thing, jerking them up and down just to cast out. All right, Storm Ultra Blade. Got them installed on the on the wall. Come in all different colours. A little weight. So, like I said, just up and down as you're bringing them in. There we go. Oh no, he's dropped it. There we go. Oh, he's dropped it too. There we go. All right. Storm Ultra Blade. Like candy to a baby. I love them. Well, there you go. As you've seen today, we've caught a few fish, eight different lures. Um, yeah, we've got them all stocked there at Lyle Eels and. and we only stock stuff that works and we know it all works and we've catch lots of fish on a lot of the gear i've been using these these rods this morning the fx shimano with a little two two and a half thousand reel the rapala with a rapala rod and reel lures you got your sensei hooks that we've used a number four hooks in our small uh sinkers so everything's worked like i said we've taken away five lures and a little tackle box fishing this morning and just to um show you that uh, how to work the lures and also to uh, what lures we've got in range you know if you come into the shop you want to know any any info just yell out but um yeah we've got the range you want to catch fish come and see us at lyle eels we've got it just put another little vibe on look at that stop filming as usual biggest fish of the morning nice little redfin there beautiful <laughs>